Reason. Zai Wu with a tap. We are right in and right down. Two for Zai Wu. Collar in the B site, but not for long with a plant denied. Otto definitely could have gone for the stick there, but he tries to fight, and that's going to cost him the round. It's Blame gone in a one on five. Zai Wu hunting these players, and Nevera, who's in this map, by the way, over Masuta, that's kind of cool, is, uh, is going to finish it off. So, very quick vent dive. Not sure why they didn't plant. And yeah, Zai Mate. with three. I will say, it. oh yeah, look, we got the predictions. So we basically hey. all went Vitality, apart from Rush, who is a complexity fanboy. Okay. Also, percent dude, Ganko, I don't respect that. leading the way in the predictions right now, but, you know, I'll always be Oof. one right behind him because I'm always picking the same teams he's picking. That's my strategy. Nice, so you'll never beat him. Congratulations, Harry. No, but, you How know, I you? can only hope to, uh, to walk in the shadow of a man as great as Yanko. Sucking up. Look, man. And you judge me, Hugo. Complexity. They're in with this four spy here and now. Trying to bring the heat. That pistol round was sick. We kind of joined in a little bit late. Zai Wu using the CZ like it's a full auto USP. Just one tapping people. Yeah. Absolutely despicable, man. I'm actually really shocked, that, especially considering Cold Force, that they just didn't plant. Like, that's maybe some nerves for Otton. Like, he was backside. He had the bomb. Could have done it, but he takes a fight and it costs him. And now complexity with that cost, only the Eagles, Tech Nines, a bit of armor. Smokes are outside, they're gonna move through. Blame gets down through secret. The rest of them fighting close main. That's a lovely little grenade. So who's spotting the smokes, but they go into garage. Oh boy. This could get saucy. Nevera trying to figure out if they are lower. He's going to spot Blame, but he doesn't see the full entourage of T's. Now, Complexity, they give up their trap card. They show their hand to Zai Wu. Nice deed from JKS. Zai Wu doesn't want to give them a 5v3. He backs out. Nevera, huge kill to keep lower under control for Vitality. And RBK turns back, but they're coming to fight him outside. Rush has a great position. Zai Wu is picking up his <laughs> teammates, though. And oh, oh, there it is. The no scope to close. Just Zai Wu things, man. Six kills, two rounds. I actually hate how good he is. It's yeah. so frustrating, isn't it? Like, on top of just being sick, it's more like just how good his decision making is. Like, everything about how what he does here is perfect. He's pivoting between the different points of engagement. Then he reads that, oh, I'm probably getting wrapped heaven, so he's ready with the no scope. And it must feel really, really nice for guys like Shocks and stuff to look down the line, see, like, you know, thank God we have Zai Wu on our team, right? And he's not, he's not on like G2 or something fighting against us. My goodness. He's back in with the scout and obviously only up against the eco here. Tag to blame F and now looking to finish the job. But that's the thing, I think it would always be very, very easy for someone like Zai Wu, right? Like, especially when you compare him to, to the guy he's often compared to in Simple. Uh, I think it would be very, very easy for someone to have come in and kind of, you know, know that they're sick. And so as a result, they kind of, you know, they, they, they try and flex that all the time. But the thing with Zaiwu is, is his decision making is is very, very good in the sense that he's never like just throwing so himself into these like pointless fights that is very, very tricky to win. Everything's so calculated. He plays such beautiful counter strike. This round's nice and clean. In fact, it's an ace for Apex, mate. That's pretty sick, isn't it? On the ramp rotate. Only up against pistols, so we're not going to get too excited yet, Apex. Sorry, bud, but, you know, there's always time for a couple more of them. More of that indeed. Vitality. Now got to deal with the guns of Cole. They're coming through well armed in their first rifle round. Full util as well. So he's still on the scout. Rare to see him with his weapon, but always enjoyed. Cole setting up yard smokes early as well. Out they go. Molotov as well to make them bloom quick. Zywu with a nade, he loses his teammate in Apex. It's the double spray from Config and Blame. Zywu looking for a scout pick. Look how quick Config is. Down towards the B-bomb site. It's a ramp push through the smoke for shocks. That's going to cost him. It opens up ramp. Zywu is here to close the gates. Gets one. Could have finished the bomb off, which was rushed on 10 health. Blame has got a great position. He's wrapping yard, but talk of flanks. Vitality have pushed lobby. It's a ramp crunch from both sides. No one knows what's going on. Zaiwu is about to figure out the hard way, but the smoke buys time as Blame can't get this kill. Ramp is vitality. Still, this backstab could be huge. Yeah, if anything, this timing might help Blame get away with even more from this flank. But Zaiwu's going to dig him out of the round, and it's left on to Nevera. In this 1v3, and sad for him, it might just have to be the save.
Never really given a chance. If he gets this kill onto JKS, that might tempt him back in, but a lot of time has already ticked off this bomb. And he's just missed the timing onto JKS. The complexity, they're going to get their first here and now. Helped out slightly by the fact that that is the bonus round for Vitality, right? They don't reinvest into rifles. They keep the Scout. They keep the Famous, the SMG. And now we have that investment still to come through. Zywo is going to be donning the AWP here, so that outside area gets a lot more scary as a result. I do love how guys like RPK and Apex are so good with the Famous. I do sometimes wonder if that's because it is a French gun that they've really tried to like drive home the fact that, yeah, we're pretty nuts Famas players. Now, warp in sight for Otten just yet over on the complexity side, but Zywoo's going to be donning his shocks as well, likely going to be taking that ramp way. Zywoo's oh. taking the spawn peak. And shocks actually swapping. Yeah, Zywoo had to spawn for ramp. Otten's tucked. Default ramp for Cole, just holding off. Otten's going to walk in. Oh, great shot from Otten. Dropping Zaiwu, getting that orb out. He can pick it up if he wants. There's no more support and ramp. Apex is coming to rotate. Has utility. Otton grabbing that orb. Getting it out of the hands of Vitality. Apex swinging. That's a lovely flick. He hits the shot. Hopefully in this series we can see more of what Otton has to show us. Against Astralis, of course it was going to be hard. And it's not easy against Vitality either. But, oh, was that a little bait jiggle? They're trying to keep shocks double scoped in to jump up. Just throwing the Utah in, they cut him off with the smoke. Shocks orping outside. Gonna have to give it up, giving Cole a lot of room with a man advantage. Shocks playing spawn, watching for heaven. Otton holding onto the door, but not peeking. If he was, Nevera, that would be almost a free kill. The flash is good, and RPK plays off the back of it, getting into the lobby, but everyone's holding. Cole is so prepared, so ready for this play. They go one for one. And now in a four on three with Shock seeing nothing yard. They're getting lurked on by Blame again. Config got an entry down B. No lower rotates today. Gambling top of Vitality, hoping for the best. Yeah, just a hope and a prayer here for Vitality. This does come in towards A. They might get their wish though, as it does look to go in towards this side of the map. However, Config and Blame, the little Danish duo, good for that double to lock in a second for complexity. And already they're making this game interesting. The money's now broken for Team Vitality. Yeah, I'm liking already what Blame's doing with some of these outside lurks. He's getting himself into a very deep position with the smokes, such as Garage. He's waiting till the smokes fade, and Vitality mentally clear that position out and go, ah, yard's empty. They've either gone B or they've gone back to lobby. And then Blame's coming in on, you know, not only Hell flanks, but coming in towards main later in the round. I like that. So something that Vitality now needs to keep an eye on, be aware of at any point. There can be a player deep outside, and that is the case today. Crossing behind the smokes, Blame is down fast, but so are the French. Two players with pistols round in the corner. Oh, I was going to say, down they go. RPK gets the trade. Only good for one. And B is opened up temporarily. I say that two ramp rotates are here. I like that. Zywu drops down vent and then immediately goes back up, knowing that that's just going to, even for, even for, you know, half a second, slow down this complexity approach into the B site. And that bore his teammates precious time to get across oh. and then line up for config. So there it is. Yummy. B now is right for the taking, and it's all onto Zywu with just a deagle. He oh, goes into the moors, the JKS complexity take a third. Now, moving into this first rifle, I think something very, very important for Vitality is this aggression that we often see them go for into lobby, uh, both from ramp and like hot pushes from the likes of RPK, might need to be stemmed a bit. Something that we've seen from complexity when they play with these stand-ins is that they like to they like to play a pretty slow T side, aired around this idea of like just controlling the key areas of the map, and then based on what your opponents give you, trying to pick up the pace. That was how they were approaching it yesterday versus Astralis. They were doing the same kind of thing, and that was catching Astralis out early on as well. And it looks like they're doing it here versus Vitality. There's not a lot called out of spawn, right? It is just holding these defaults, seeing what Vitality feed you, and then playing reactively off the back of it. I think that's the perfect way to approach playing CS with a standard. 
fast out ramp. Here's the flash. Shox is going to hear them coming, and he drops in anticipation of this play. Cole not running right down towards B, throwing a new tilt to hell to stop a repeat. And they actually double back to lobby, but Shox has confirmed they can't be lower, and Zaiwu is in CT. Although he's not watching hell, he's going to check it on a timing. Make sure there's no heaven flying. So this double back to lobby, you know, it's 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 fine. It's a good call, but it's not something that Vitality are going to be shocked about. This B fake, however, throwing nades down lower is config, keeping two CTs in the wrong bomb site. Nevera above the heart needs to do a lot, and it's a spray for one, but Otto with the trade. Config follows up with a B pick, and RPK is trapped at the back of the site. They've got the info. Zywu needing to come in for support, but RPK flanked out, and Zywu can't hit the shot to JKS. It's a massive entry to give Cole his sight, and likely the round. Shocks with no kick coming in from Lobby needs to do something heroic. Was I wooed? That will do. Quick tag and JKS ducks on out. Yeah, a lot of this still hinged on shocks, right? Even though you got Zai Wu, this big heavy hitter up in heaven. He's hoping he can draw attention away to give Shox some room to maneuver. There's Zaiwu pouncing onto Otto. JKS still down in the side, but it's Zaiwu oh, just obliterating God. them. How on earth has he gotten away with it? From heaven, he had no business getting that double, but he does, and that gives Shox all the room in the world. Originally, Zaiwu was kind of playing more of a living decoy role yeah. up in heaven, just getting the attention away. And then in typical Zaiwu fashion, he somehow plucks a double out of that round. You never know how he does it, man. No. Considering the call was, was uh, like, wrong in a sense, right? He hits the tag onto JKS. He hears it. There's a blood splatter, and he keeps spamming. When Shox comes out hot, JKS is holding him from default. Shox is, it runs past JKS to, to clear the back box, but JKS has already moved. And from that, Vitality know there are two players in the A site. And then Shox and Zaiwu combined for three in the retake. God, this guy just shows up every time without fail. It's not even fair. Four to three, back in the lead are Vitality. In. Look at Shox, he went right down the vent. He avoids the spam and the molly. No way of stopping him. Holding for the drop to B, they now know no one's lower. But that can change in an instant if these outside smokes come in. And they're being lined up. It's wide ones as well. Are Cole going to try and put a player in garage again to come in on this backstab, or will it just be the commitment into main to split A? They might pop through this smoke. Apex needs to have his wits about him again. Vitality, they've been dropping 2B quite a lot, and Apex is falling out of heaven as well to check the yard. It doesn't matter. It's that A split, and Vitality have been caught in the wrong positions. It's only Apex here to deal with them. Puts up one. Nevera coming up the vent. Nice catch on the config. They're all over the site, though. Apex is dead in upper. And JKS follows up. He has looked great on some of these entries. Flame picked up, but shocks traded. Leaves it on Zai Wu. In through the lobby, man. Creeping on forward. Zai Wu just tucked himself away. Now he's been set up by the rest of his team to attempt this clutch. There's a kit dropped right in front of him. So it was destined to be. Going back to check and see if anyone's pushed through the hut, and that is not the case. Zai Wu now aware. He might be given a temporary 1v1 here onto Otto, but Otto Ooh. swinging the angle, taking the fight. It's always risky taking a peek into Zai Wu like that, but Otto wanted his hands on the orb. And so he's going to get it, gets that upgrade, and taking it from the body of the master, no less. He's rifled out Zaiwu with an orb twice now, has Otto. Killing him on the ramp room and then even hunting him in the two-on-one. Lovely stuff. Needed someone to try and stop this man. And a free AWP gifted over. That's a lovely little top hit. Cole fake out the B play very well with the yard smokes. And Vitality scared over rotate. More smokes, more illusion. As only one man plays behind them, it's blame. And he's playing that blame game. Vitality are none the wiser.
We're seeing Complexity try and bully this A site a lot. And, you know, that is where Nevera is playing, right? So it does feel like maybe they watched that game yesterday and, uh, and and thought there was something they could exploit there. We know that Carl loved these demo reviews. Jesus. All right, Shocks. Said that the wrong way around, didn't I? It's Shoxy Jesus. That's what it's meant to be. Well, he's opened the round up with that Deagle. Ooh, okay. I was like, man, who dared a wall bang me? It's Rush on the other side, and now this pace picked up. As Zaiwu trying to get a bit of revenge, finally dealt with by JKS. No one else inside of this A site for Vitality. As Apex is bursted out of the round, it is just the remaining pistols now, all left to retake in through heaven. And that is not going to happen, and they know it. So they'll spread out and look for success elsewhere. There's that gun dropped outside, which looks like the uh, the object of their desires right now. Shocks is a hell, man. I dropped it earlier. I'll go get it. Still complexity. You're going to be taking the lead. Very, very back and forth early on to begin this first half. Yeah, it's a very strong start. Inside a nuke as well. Their pick, a map that these guys are really, really comfortable on. Vitality shouldn't have too much of a problem. I mean, they just picked up a couple of tournament wins, and so it is common to see, you know, someone someone win a tournament and then go and immediately lose the opening match of the next tournament. Can't always ride off that high. But, like, for Vitality, if they get grouped here, that would be shocking, especially against the team with a stand-in. They only just lost to Big. Cole, they've got him weak right now. Another buy for Vitality. Orp on Zaiwu. Shox has the full util thanks to the save. And Oton in that head-to-head -head again. I can't wait to see him v Zaiwu. But right now it's a yard taken fast out. A complexity setting up quick flashes. They just don't wait around, do they? They are so concise. JKS with a double entry again. He has been non-stop on this T side. Glad we highlighted him as a player to watch because he has been getting Cole into this game. Yeah, it's worrisome, man. Complexity, I, I, as I said just rounds ago, right, they are just abusing this A site. And this hold of RPK Nevera, well, it was one that looked a little bit shaky in that in that matchup from the other day. And we saw Vitality take on big. And it's certainly not looking any smoother right now. And that's the thing, right, when you're up against a team like Complexity, when you've got Blame F on the other side, he, he does his research, he crunches the numbers, and if he sees something that he thinks is exploitable, even if, you know, maybe with what complexity he'd like to do normally, it wouldn't be. He will put the effort in to refine it and make sure that they're exploiting it to the fullest extent. And it's just been countless top sight hits right now for Cole, and it's left him in a really good spot. You know, we've already seen Vitality try and adjust to this a little bit, what with Apex occasionally playing Heaven to help out inside of that A bomb site, but still hasn't bailed them out as much as you would like. Yeah, and it's like the idea of conditioning. We sort of saw that in the Heroic Liquid game just a moment ago. Heroic constantly taking A and Liquid having to adjust as a result and therefore leaving other areas more empty. Cole, they get out A, but they're trying to get down. Oh, they're, they're blocking stuck each other in the smoke. Left. Yeah. <laughs> JKS is now behind the vent. That's not where you want to be. Oh, sneaking down. They do it. But into the orb they go. Zaiwu ready. Oh, was a call cool made. He seems aware. Rush is also in position. Zaiwu scoped up. Rush looking for an angle. An exit. A nice shot. Can't follow up. Nivera comes down in the back line and keeps B under control. Shox needs to go back up. That's happened too many times. Vitality have over-rotated B. Shox realizes and he retreats on the ramp side, getting back into that position. Cole still looking interested in A. It's all that they've done. But not only two players here, plus Nivera in the vents. He's going to go ahead of the Molotov. On the ladder, he gets one. Almost Otton, who can't flick down surely as Vitality finally hold the A site. And yeah, that one was a little bit more more obvious, right? You you lose your vent players, you trade four three, Cole walk out door, Apex is already heaven. That was a, a nice little round there for Vitality. I love that chase from the Vera as well, right? Like leaves Iwu alone, just runs down through the vent, gets the trade, almost the double up through vent as well. So we are seeing the adaptations in for Vitality. 
Have Zaiwu in the right place at the right time. Shock's getting aggressive through ramp. This time Zaiwu trying to push his luck a little bit outside and he does have Apex to help him out as well, getting up on top of the garage. Zaiwu, oh, he's got it. Yeah. Oh, oh, he got foul. the tag onto Rush, who was like in T-spawn, by the way. I don't even think that was the guy he was aiming for. Take it. Zaiwu just feels destined to hit people, even if it isn't the uh, the intended target. Ooh, he Zywoo. hears these footsteps yeah. as well in towards ramp. Oh, dear. Everywhere they go, Zaiwu's there. They're like, he was just outside. He just hit me in T-spawn, and now he's down on B. Well, you got to try and get past him, and Rush eventually will. Otan holding over the world's oh. ramp is getting pressured now by Apex. This B site, the one that Complexity are trying to end up on. The rotations are already in for Vitality, though. Know. Blame holding the line. They don't get through that smoke. However, Apex will offer up a fighting chance in this round with the double. Missed shot from Otto. And now these two are getting very claustrophobic in the control room. RPK has been waiting for shocks to join him. There's the swing and it falls to Otto, wow. but he can't pierce the armor of this tank. Six on the board for Vitality as they tie this up with the B retake. Yeah, I mean, the space Vitality gives Zaiwu there is excellent as well, right? Not just him going outside out of spawn and, and trying to fight into T-spawn, but as you said, immediately dropping B, running up ramp shocks, concedes the ramp position to let them down into Zaiwu. He only gets one there, but he at least buys time. Vitality already have heavy secret rotations. Apex comes in with a big couple of kills. And same story for RPK, who waits that smoke patiently after Nevera runs through and dies. Sacrifices himself for the info, and RPK makes good work with it. Six all. And then, ooh, uh, careful with those jumps outside. Next time you won't be so lucky. Config gets down to B. Blame coming through the smoke. Apex sees a shadow, and he knows. He takes that opener. Nevera's on the top of the hut. JKS could drop vent, but he's just going to hide behind it as Nevera swaps sides. Moving to the vent. Rush getting spammed. That's the bomb. JKS could try and capitalize here as he hears Nevera shoot, but that smoke is a bit of a problem. He can't go through it. JKS should have the drop on him here. Yeah. He's not ready for a player to touch vent. And there it is, the blindsiding from JKS. Molly lands too deep as well. While that will kind of hamper the vent drop a little bit, it's not going to put a stop to these players in the door. Shoxi, though, again with this ramp flank, and this was the saving grace for Vitality a couple of rounds ago. Well, he drops the bomb there, and that's forced the rotation of Config back up through the vents. Complexity, it looked like they maybe wanted to go down B. Well, now they kind of hands are tied to get into this A site somehow, some way. Even if they don't commit, they've had to fight to regain control. And now they drop down the vent, but Vitality is seemingly one step ahead. Zaiwu already rotating to ramp, misses the player crossing and doesn't land the shot to Config. It's him and Shox in the 2v2. And Shox once again flanking, once again with this big out position to try and make a play. We're looking at him in the double doors to be the difference maker. And there Aww. it is, him and Zai Wu, a terrifying twosome to go up against, right? Individually, they're two players you can never write off in clutches. So when they're up against you in an even odds 2v2, that is a really rough spot to be in. Not even odds. <laughs> it doesn't feel like it, at least. Yeah, and someone made the call that they dinked Config coming out a door as well. So Zai Wu even whips out the USP for that two-on-one when he realized Config was last alive. That's a nice attempt for Cole, right? Getting back into a Convict has to come up vent to try and assist, and he opens up a, you know, creating a path for the bomb to get down lower. But yeah, clutched on by Vitality, and Zaiwu 1337 score line. He is quite the elite player. Seven to six, and trying to run away with the last two rounds of the half. JKS right out the door, back to his usual tricks on A. He's going to go through to his, to Nivera's betterment, sprays him as he comes through the smoke. The lineup for Convict turning around and killing everyone on A. Zaiwu still to play against. Convict on for the ace, but Shocks trying to get a bit of a backstab in yet again. Yeah, but he's done it so much, right? They were they were both ready for that. Oh, it was holding. And even though he was keeping an eye on the door, they still sent Blaine back into the lobby just to double check it. Zaiwu, re -molly. That's either going to force him to go or stay. And there's the push. Oh, Burning to his death. Down he goes. 
And this might just be the save for Zaiwu. You know, even getting that little parting gift onto Config. I thought he round over and done with. I thought he was going to commit, yeah, right? I thought he was going like. to. Fair enough. You know, they don't like, have the, the orb otherwise. The information he has, right, is that, you know, they know Config's site. They haven't even seen Blame F yet. And last they saw, Otto was door. So if he goes running in through that molly, could have died to a door player. Could have even been a second player site, right? So holding on to the orb, that's kind of the extent of it. Yeah, Config, though, we've had him and JKS. Show up, lights out today for Cole, right? Looking really, really good. Otto with some key moments as well and some well-cooled rounds to get Cole on the board here. Seven rounds and looking for an eighth. There's only the AWP and a couple of rifles board up, dropped over for Vitality to muster. This could be Cole winning the half. Very possible. That doesn't mean anything with Vitality moving to the T side. Let's see if they can do it. Early smokes outside, Apex. Crossed on the door, got to be careful for those vent drops. He has a gap though, he's going to take it instead and fall in. Devera fights into the lobby, but traded after one. And the patient play for Cole nets them a massive advantage. Config again dinked. Zywu knows he's got the USP out. Maybe he hit the leg shot. But no kills offered up and Cole pulled the brakes yet again. Four on two, wait for Vitality to make a move. Yeah, I think even just looking at the positioning, right, shows how... The error in this round is that is that lobby aggression. Hang on a minute though, because Zywu's just made it all very, very interesting with that kill onto the bomb back in lobby. Blame is wrapping through heaven and they have given up outside. So you think someone might be watching this no. and Shox turns just in time. This was a two on four and we talk about just in time. Well, now we need Justin Savage and Config to muscle their way through this one. It is going to come down to JKS versus Shoxy. JKS retrieves that bomb from Lobby and now goes Rampwood. Shock's not expecting this, not anticipating the ramp flank. Still set up over towards heaven and that gives JKS a good opportunity now to get this bomb down over towards B and he'll have plenty of time to get into a post plant as well. He's already eyeing up the window. Shocks, yeah, he's got to make noise here to drop. There's a kit on A, that was the call, and he's going to go through the vents. JKS, where could he be? Anyway, breaks the window, but he shoots from ramp. Will that be info that Shocks has? He looks very attuned to the ramp position. It is an open plant for the left side. Tapping the bomb, JKS checks it, Shocks moves in. He never saw JKS, but JKS, oh dear, he hits it. JKS knew there was no one on the bomb. He checked it. He moves out and Shox shuts him down in the 1v2. It's going to be Vitality leading at halftime. Close game though. Cole here to play, here to fight for their life. Join us after the break for the rest of New. Easy. Don't even bother, cause 
Complexity with a pretty damn good T side with a stand in as well. Lots of caveats, but they're showing up in the server today. Vitality just edging out a victory in the half to begin Nuke. It is the pick of Cole in this series. Dust two and overpass to follow, potentially at least the first. But first, the second half. Lots of numbers. 8 7 Vitality leading in those GG bet odds, and now they go to the T side of Nuke. Lots of utility for a pistol as well. Rush with the kit nade. And a lot of A hits for Cole. Vitality look interested in the same. Lining up some sort of heaven smoke by the looks of things. Fast flash, four shocks, in they go. Sai Wu leading the charge, but they can't find the player at the back of the site. Otto holding on pretty well. Only gets one though. It's gonna be Kofi inside of the lobby, behind enemy lines, but not for long as he runs dry of ammo. Blame and JKS, the latter of which has been excellent in this game. Can he show up in what will soon to be a retake, but the bomb's been dropped, loose by Blame as the smoke fades. Double peak, there's the trade for JKS, and the package is at his feet. He gets out, fires a shot. Shocks now knows it's the 1v1 that closed the half, now opens it up. Shocks meandering, moving around the site. JKS gives it up. Is he going to wrap round main or even go through ramp to lobby? It's quite the rotation. Shocks holding on for a repeat that will never happen. And he has read this while he is moving towards the ramp by the looks of things. This could be an open path to the B-bomb site. JKS is going to be scrambling, wondering where the hell has Shocks gone? The kit's even at the back of A as well, so he might have to just go and grab that. That will seriously slow down his rotate to B. Shox takes it silently. 20 seconds, more than enough time to plant. Danger is obviously that JKS has gambled and pre-rotated down, but that is not the reality we're in. Will JKS speed for the kit or go for the B site as soon as he can? Realization sets in. No, it doesn't. JKS still thinks it's A. Now he's found the kit, now he knows, but he's walking it. Yeah, he doesn't have time for this. He's got to run. This is deja vu, man, isn't yeah. it? Close the half. And not to mention, right, if going for the kit takes you longer than five seconds, it was never worth it to begin exactly. with. And so now JKS on this drop, making a lot of noise. He doesn't have the time to be quiet. Shocks, is he going to beat him again? Is it going to be back-to-back -back oh. victories? JKS trying to flick, but it shocks 2-0 in clutches versus JKS now. He's done it to him again. Vitality on to nine, and Shocks showing that he can clutch either the side of the coin as he puts that pistol on the board for Team Vitality. Heads and tails. Head Shocks wins, tails JKS loses. <laughs> Here's the force for Cole. We got a scout out and pistol armor. Good bit of utility. What are you going to do with these smokes, though? They're going to nade stack outside. They go a bit deep. Apex already up and past it. Config playing in the smoke. Ooh. 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 Come on. Knife out. There's Whoa. the kill to RPK, but there's a lot more where that came from, buddy. That's a good good kill. Dip dive out yeah. of there. Yeah, they don't stick around a challenge and Rush is already down through the vent. No one's considering this now. They are keeping an eye on it, but there he is, blindsiding Apex, caught looking the wrong way. That actually now opens up this vent rotation. So there's a lot more bodies in the vent where that came from. 
Down goes Zai Wu, and it's left to Shocks. This time, it's a big clutch again required, but no longer is it the 1v1s. It's a 1v4, turned one on three for Shocks to try and pull off. Surely not. Oh, oh, Shocks, you're not meant to win these. He's not meant to win these. Blame F, the last man left standing. Shocks on for the ace. There is no way he's landed the dink. This cannot happen. This cannot happen for Shocks. He's out of there with the bomb. Up towards the vent, try to fake blame F out, but those shots have given it away. Oh, Shocks might have it. Shocks has got it. 10 on the board for Vitality, and this guy is the clutch king. My, oh, my. Cool as a cucumber. You Look wouldn't even know dude. he's just done it. You wouldn't even know it's just happened. Oh, that's going to be in the nightmares of cold tonight. What a play to transfer the spray, the dink onto blame. Like every part of that was was masterly played, masterfully played rather. What an outplay on the vent as well. Fakes the. That was an ace. That was a one v four. Ah, I can't get over it, Hugo. Yeah. I can't. It felt so good. Rush did everything he could have, man. Getting all those deagle kills in the vent. Config had a gun. This is Vitality rolling over complexity right now in this second half. Clutch after clutch. Shocks just having fun with it. Just tapping outside. He gets removed by the USP, so a bit of brutal reality sets in. Nevera has a Nova. Okay. He's going to use the Deag instead. Soak it in, Harry. I need a minute. <laughs> I need a minute, Shocks, man. You may, you, you're crazy, bro. I can't do it. I need a minute. Oh! Well, right back okay. we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get back into it. Rush to get us there, maybe. Nevera. Well, Deeg out. Otto. Rush is out as well. JKS, it's all eyes on him. And now he wants to go. Okay. With the shock shoes on, here he is with the peak, but Nevera digs him back. It's 11 on the board for Vitality. This game is oh, This is nuts, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Otto on the Yorp now. Money's a bit skew if for Vitality, right? Those Antiquos, both of which get very close. So not really rolling in dough right now. Might want to run SMGs. I'm going to guess the Nova was a miss by considering he swapped it out for the Mac 10 as soon as he could. He didn't even play it. Gets the Eco. Dover. Feels pretty good, but we know how inconsistent shotguns can get. I want Vitality to play 4v5 and then just let Shocks wait and then just have these moments every game. I mean, to be fair, like he's he's doing that just fine anyway. Oh, some things aren't meant to be seen by the eyes of mere mortals like you and I, Hugo, and that was one of them. Oh, blame after line up in the door. It's almost dirty, but RPK is swift with his response. Cancels that out almost immediately. Yeah, saves Apex's life, and that's important because now they're going to line up smokes outside. Oh, where will they be going for? Oh, this, that, the other. Those, them. Pick a smoke apex, there we go. No garage smoke, so they're gonna play inside of it by the looks of things, moving close behind them. Otto flashes out, but no one's there to capitalize off the utility config. Is he walking the door smoke? Yeah, he's trying to take lobby right back can be big info for Cole, but it won't really save them from what is coming, the impending doom of this rap, the run boost over. Otto doesn't know, and Shox has got the shot. Great stuff. Otto was so, you know, drawn to secret, and he never even saw them in garage. They didn't even need to run boost because he wasn't looking. Apex does find config in the meantime, two on four. Cole screwed in this round. Rush needs to make a play. He's the only man in a position to do so. JKS is cordoned out. Rush catching Apex, moving back in, but he's lost the A site. Yeah, they know Rush is here. The only one with a bit of an element of surprise could be JKS. 
Now giving up his position and wrapping into Zaiwu. That is certain death on the cards. Rush, his turn to clutch, his turn to give it a go. RPK, however, just says, nah, mate, you're done. You're cancelled. 12 on the board for Vitality. And once again, the money is just gone for complexity. Oh, it went from it went from looking like they were gonna be able to do something here on this map, right? With like a pretty convincing first half. So now the domination getting picked up by Vitality. They, they're not letting off the gas. They have been winning everything, man. It's a bit of a shame for Otto as well, right? Like he's holding secret. He thinks they're going, you know, you, you got to know what the what the plans are with certain smokes. And with those smokes, it was just to get Vitality into Garage. The, as I said, run boost, not even necessary. They could have just dry peaked him and he wouldn't have even been looking. Very quick though. Twelve to seven, four in a row for Vitality in this second half alone. And Cole back to pistols. These have looked good. Sharks has looked better. Twenty and seven to his name. Vitality looking towards ramp. There's a heavy setup here. Three CTs boosting. Nevera's running through. He might get this info ahead of time. He sees the boost. He only gets one, but that set his team up for success. The third man coming up from B. Otto also finds a frag, but it's only pistols. Config set up in lower early with blame, but back to A they go. Apex is contacted out into the A site, and there's no one here to stop him. He makes the call, and that gamble B doesn't even matter. And we might be nearing that point where Cole, they, they've got like, what, like one or two rifles left in the tank, and that's really the extent of it if they don't start Ooh. winning soon. Filth. Conflict, that's a nice dig, but shouldn't transpire much more beyond that, surely, unless he does want to just try and throw caution to the wind and give this one a go. But with time already so far tick, like he would need these two kills in an instant, and so with Shocks and RPK split up the way they are, it's, it's undoable for Config. Not that I think he was ever going into this with the intent to win it. Gets out of it with the AK at the very, very least, but that's really the extent of it for Cole. That's kind of the, the happiness of this round. Hey, we got an AK. However, they are down seven to 13. Yeah, running out of chances. Will there be an answer? Maybe even just attack, a moment to breathe for complexity. They've been suffocated. I like the ramp setup. It was the right call. They read it. Still doesn't trade favorably. And even though they get a two for three, Apex just walks out A. So B stack is neglected, negated. Otto back in with the AWP. Sat on ramp alone. Early rotate down lower for JKS. He drops secret and checks the vent. Nothing there. So he comes up and helps outside. Now he can be flashed outside by someone like Config. But look how slow Vitality are in this gun round. They're just waiting. They're just trying to figure out where Cole is stacked. They're looking at secret from Silo. JKS can't make a play just yet. If he does, he'll be punished by Apex. Vitality. There are three players essentially playing yard against them. They haven't seen a single one. This is great tucking for Cole. Very patient play. It might pay off in the long term as Vitality think yard is a lot clearer than it actually is. Nice flash. Yeah, good stuff to get some usage out of JKS early on in this secret position. Nade does even more to make that worthwhile. And they still don't know about Blame F in back garage. So he's like the little nasty surprise in the center of this whole outside Ooh. hold. Config gets beheaded. And Zai Wu looks very, very what? aware that nah, this is going to be the case. Oh, oh okay. never mind. He checks everything apart from the one place he had to check. And ultimately, that's the one that matters most. The rest of the gang are going to try and blitz their way into A. To do that, they've got to get past Rush, and they will deal with him, but a lot of damage done. They really slowed down this A play. Bomb trying to get planted by RPK, and they do respect it. They do let him get the bomb down. He should be dead to the Heaven Wrap, but right now, Otto's waiting on the ladder, trying to pay his respects as nevera has gone in the lobby, and there it is, the late Heaven Wrap, not read by RPK.
Complexity, they move on to an eight, they recover there, they put that round up on the board. Great usage out of JKS early on, right? Set up by his teammates to take that early engagement, to whittle down the outside play. And then he follows through on the retake as well. So closing this gap, five between them now. Still a little ways to go. First CT round as well. Better late than never. Zyru so Karnorp, he's got a rifle for this one, but hey, he obliterated Conflict in heaven last round. If he checked blame, could have been a very different situation for Vitality. Instead, back to the smokes. Straight out of spawn. There's a Molotov down, but it's on the roof. Oh, that's going to disrupt the smokes of Vitality. Love that from Complexity. They, they, this is a team, blaming Keita especially, they know what kind of teams and which players throw smokes out of spawn, and therefore they know whether to molly or not. It works in both ways as well. They know which teams throw Molotovs to disrupt the smokes. And as a result, you'll sometimes see Cole throw late smokes to avoid that exact play. D despite the, the smokes getting cancelled out, Vitality still get down lower. They've got two players in B right now. Same story for Cole. Baited in with the door open. Nice shot for RPK. The AWP just gets slapped in the face. JKS anchoring B right now. Blame can come in on a wrap, and he has. Killing shocks from Decon. Four on three. Still committed to this lower site, but with no split, it's just down to the ramp men. Nice nade. Yeah, nade from Nevera is perfect, right? That's allowed for a B plant to come in. The only man who can have any say in that matter is Blame F waiting at Decon. Config's also given a bit of a berth to get down through the vent. And while this is happening, Rush has set up a ramp. So you've got this nice little three-pronged approach. However, one of them's gone already. Blame F deleted over in the decon door. Rush caught out in the open. Still good for that kill to Nevera, but that's where RPK comes in with the right hook. Vitality onto 14. Still money for an investment for Cole, but the scary thing about this investment now is if they lose it, well, then they're four spying up against 15. Not where you want to find yourself by any stretch of the imagination. Plus, I got to say this as well, right? I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep running the uh, the clutches from shocks into the ground. But he said three of them in this game, yeah. and they were in back to back to back rounds, which is the most mind blowing part. Like that is a, yeah, that is a stat that only he could have, you know, three like in a row. One to round out the half, one to open the half, one to save the anti eco. One v two, one v one, one v four. Yeah, of course. Unreal. Bit of a gamer, this guy. Not that you would know, just looks like another day in the office to him. He's chewing his gum, he's like not even cracking a smile. But then when they win, he's the most animated guy ever. But the moment the game's live, right, you just get like this, this cool, calm, everything's fine. Game ends, he's like, yes! <laughs> it's unreal, the difference between the two of them. Love it, dude, the passion. I can't yell for real though, my mom and dad are asleep upstairs. Yeah, so, yeah, don't want to yeah. wake them up. Shark's creeping outside, he's got the rest of the team behind him. Will they check close left for Blame? They will, and Shark's there. Just pierces through and takes the head right off of the beast outside. Otto trying to go above this smoke, and he is good for the trade at least. Any more in the tank for Otto. There's the double, back in the advantage of Cole. And that outside play now is bid farewell, thanks to this AWP. Locking down outside, nice. just keeps on putting up numbers. And that's exactly what we needed. We needed someone to step up. And hell, man, if it's the standing, complexity will take that. Yeah, Otto's had a really good game in comparison to yesterday. He's had a lot of key rounds, and this is one of them, three in the bag. And Cole just need two more to push it over the line. RPK running, and Rush looks down at the right time. Otto obliterated against Zaiwu, who will drop down B, but only faking it. He doesn't even make the noise, really. He just fakes the ladder. He just uh, climbs up the ladder. So now he has A. Do they think he's lower? They can't see him. They can't figure it out. He's right below Otto, or rather the AWP in Config's hands instead. He will just peek. It's Config for crying out loud. He doesn't wait. And even if he did, there was Rush coming in through the hut as well. It's another call round. One of two in the CT side. This was great, this shot. Ooh. After Otto's sick round, he just gets two tapped. And pistols have a vitality. Cole, they've stemmed the bleeding. They've forced a, a low economy round, and maybe they can make this game interesting yet.
Blame F has been able to get across into secret. Oh! What? I was about to say, like, with how that smoke is, that should favor him as well, but it doesn't matter. Apparently, Apex just two taps him out of the round. And it's also like, yeah, you guys ain't getting the AK. I had to grind for this. <laughs> and he's on that grind. He's taking it outside. Otto looking to deal with him. And he will emerge up over the rafters, but there's the drop down from Upper. Yeah, you take out our leader, but we're here to get that revenge. Three on three, the AK now in the hands of Nevera, Orp in the hands of Shoxi. Uh-oh. Config and JKS both clearing outside. So at this point, they know. They know that it is either up through heaven or more likely out of these two options is the ramp play. And Rush and JKS are both already adjusting to deal with that. However, Vitality have pumped the brakes. They've slowed it right down and they wait for the re-aggression. That is such a good read to mop up Config close on that flank in through behind. Now they sit with the advantage. This has gone from like a round that Vitality should have never picked up to one that they are in such a co commanding lead in, right? 3v2, Rush is almost dead as it is. So instead, we're looking at JKS, the man who was to be the hero here. He's wielding the famous French weapon against the Frenchman. Is it going to betray him? Is it going to betray them? It's RPK locking it in. And with that, the round is done, right? That's 15 for Vitality. Yeah, Rush to get out of here. He should try and save. No kit, eight health. Uh, nowhere near the bomb plant. It's Vitality. They get it done with pistols, Harry. Apex tapping Blame outside. Who? I mean, like, you can't really fault Blame for that death. He's had a rough game, sure, but that is unreal for Apex. May die to the orb straight after, but they drop in on the orb, picking it up, and more guns at that. Very calm mid-rounding from Vitality, right? They're so fine at just stopping and, and walking together, making no noise, giving no inclination as to where they're going for complexity to rotate or to gamble. They've just got to guess. And so Rush upper, JKS lower. If either of them get two kills, it's a winnable round. If not, it's probably just a straight up save. Look at this shot. How on earth? Honestly, from, from watching a lot of people play that position, I feel like more often than not, the T crossing red smokes wins that fight to a close secret player like i feel like more often than not that that is the case that being said pistol versus ak should not have been that easy 15 to 9. or oh, for zai Wu, smg on shocks he could have bought full but he's going fast instead yeah he wants to get in there right he wants to get stuck in and maybe to his detriment he's at least been that spearhead on the offensive to get the rest of vitality in there get them moving get the people going as now just Otto and JKS have to try and keep this game alive in a 2v4. Nade into the site, doesn't quite deal with RPK. And to make matters worse, Zaiwu is just Molotov, JKS out of heaven. That's slowed down a round in which complexity don't really have time in anyway. And JKS with no kit and an impossible clutch. It's all said and done. Vitality, they lock in the victory here. They go 1-0 up. And now things get a little bit worrying for complexity with Dust2. Vitality's map pick just around the corner. Yeah, they done told me to be myself, so when I went and found myself, oh, the ones who told me back then, be true to who I am, ain't think we was really gonna win, now they watching us from the sidelines, while we trying to victories like we in high tides, I'm not getting my prize, only thing my eyes is locked in on, have a milli mind mine, I want it right now, don't waste my time, family in a penthouse with a view sky high, blood, sweat, and tears bring more to my eyes, cause the whole gang winning, I done gave my life, I'd slow, but we did it, eh?